One of the most iconic roads in Melbourne is St Kilda Road. This 10-kilometre multi-lane road and tramway connects the Melbourne CBD with the seaside cosmopolitan suburb of St Kilda. Beneath St Kilda Road sits a complex array and network of underground utilities and services. One of the oldest is a 250mm diameter cast iron water main. This water main was laid in 1880 and has been the conduit for fresh water supply to the inner southeastern suburbs of Melbourne for over a century. This water main has been gradually replaced in recent years and, as at the end of 2014, the last 1.4 kilometres was all that was left to renew. This 1.4 kilometre stretch spanned either side of the busy commercial road intersection in Paran. In November 2014, the asset owner, South East Water, called tenders for the replacement of this 1.4 kilometre section. Interflow was the successful bidder and commenced work in February 2015. The work involved removing the existing water main and replacing it with the larger 350mm PN16 polyethylene pipe. So not only were Interflow replacing a water main that had reached the end of its service life, but were also installing a pipe with a larger internal diameter and greater capacity. The replacement needed to occur within the following constraints. All properties needed to have an uninterrupted water supply. There needed to be minimal disruption to traffic. There needed to be no damage to the environment, specifically taking great care not to damage the trees that line this iconic road. And most importantly, without disruption or inconvenience to the residents that live and operate on this stretch of road. A project with this number of challenges requires an experienced company and team with a pedigree for delivering projects of this nature. Interflow's roots date back to 1936 and it has had a long and successful history of building, installing and now renewing water, sewer and stormwater pipelines. Once the project was awarded, Interflow mobilised its delivery team and the plans were put in place. With a project of this nature, managing the multiple external stakeholders is a vital ingredient in the smooth running of the job. Interflow's project management team had the task of making sure that the client, residents, road users, council and suppliers were all properly informed and engaged in the project. Interflow's construction team were the engine room that put the pipe in the ground and returned the site to a condition better than it was before the job commenced. When renewing underground infrastructure, the greatest risks are often caused by the unknown. What else is under the ground? Are there other utilities running nearby? What else is crossing the pipeline? Are things where they are meant to be? Are the connections the same as drawn on the plans? The first task that needed to be undertaken is to prospect and find all of the nearby utilities and services. This vitally important step prevents the inadvertent striking and damage of surrounding utilities and also where existing properties are able to be kept online during construction. With the surrounding assets identified, residents notified and permits in place, the construction activities can commence. The first thing that needed to occur was to provide the residents with a temporary water supply while the existing main was being replaced. In water main renewal projects that typically occur in suburban Melbourne, this is a simple task. However, in the case with high-rise buildings taking their water feed for both fire services and drinking water directly from the water main, the provision of a temporary service became a complex task. The 1.4 kilometre stretch of work was broken down into sections of around 200 metres. In each 200 metre section, the residents were connected to the temporary service and then the old main was then progressively replaced with a new pipe. Each night a trench was excavated and a section of pipe was welded together, installed and backfilled such that at the end of the shift the road could be returned to service. The timing of all activities was critical to ensure there was no disruption to traffic the following day. 12 metre lengths of poly pipe were welded together into 20 to 30 metre strings. The existing pipe was excavated and removed. In performing this task, 
it was vitally important to ensure nearby services and ones that crossed the line of pipe were not damaged. With the trench prepared, the new poly pipe was then carefully lowered into place and then welded to the previous piece. This process is repeated each night along the 200 metre section that had been isolated. Once the entire 200 metre section had been renewed, the new pipe was charged, chlorinated and the residents were switched across from their temporary service to their new service. With the new pipe in place and all residents safely connected to their new pipeline, the site is restored to a condition better than before the project commenced, with the expectation that the pipeline will not need to be touched for well over a century. As our cities grow, the number and complexity of the assets underground continue to grow as well. These assets do not last forever, and as they require renewal, replacement or repair, the challenges get greater and the need to use experienced and professional people is a must to allow the work to happen safely and with due regard to the needs of the residents, the environment and the stakeholders.